Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My uh, channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, if you like uh, researching undervalued investments, uh, this is a financial education channel. I do get some, some companies out in front of people uh, so you guys can do some further analysis. Uh, I have a company right here today. So if you guys like evaluating companies, like evaluating trends, like looking at undervalued investments, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for this content. If you guys have any sort of comments or questions, please leave them below in the comment section. So today we're gonna look at Nova Royalty. <clears throat> it's a royalty company. Uh, I very much like their business models uh, for royalty companies. Basically you have income streams from certain projects uh, and certain mines. And Nova Royalty is one where uh, they're looking at copper and nickel. Copper and nickel uh, are, are used very heavily in electric vehicles, especially battery electric vehicles. So you use copper and everything, and you use nickel in the battery electric, uh, the batteries. So they are a royalty company uh, that is specifically looking at those metals. Uh, I think there is massive demand for those metals, so I think the price is going to go up. We also see market deficits out in the future, uh, which is going to drive prices higher. If we do adopt a more green um, green initiatives or infrastructure bills or whatever it may be, I think this is this royalty company is going to be set up very well. It's also one of the first uh, royalty companies of this type where it's focusing on copper and nickel. Uh, so I, I very much like that being first. And uh, with those metals, uh, I, I, <laughs> they're such good metals. Now, royalty companies, uh, they don't have any mining risks. Uh, what they do is they make their money off of if something gets mined from another company, so another company will mine it, a mining company, uh, they get a royalty stream from whatever's mined uh, or whatever pre-negotiated contracts they have for, uh, uh, of that mine. So they either purchase uh, ounces in the ground or pounds and they buy it for a certain price and then resell it. But mainly Nova, from what I've seen, is they're getting a return off of the net smelter return. Uh, so it's a percentage of what's produced and if they produce more, they get more money. If the price goes up, they get more money. So it's a play off of price and production. So let's jump into Nova Royalty and what it, I'll tell you what I like about it. So if you're looking for investments, when I look for investments, I look at trends, value, and risk. Uh, I also use technical analysis. So I'm looking for investments that will definitely capture the move in the underlying commodity price. And in this case, it's copper and nickel and I like copper and nickel very much. Uh, they do have deficits uh, uh, going on right now in copper and nickel is very soon. So I put very little money in explorer only companies unless I know a lot about it, uh, but this one's a royalty company. And royalty companies have a diversified stream from many mines. Uh, so in itself, it is a diversified, it has a diversified portfolio of royalties coming to it, which makes it even lower risk. So I look for companies that are in the best sectors uh, and an added bonus for diversified streams of revenue from a royalty company. So the trend here is copper and nickel are main ingredients for an, a renewable world, especially important for battery electric vehicles. I think adoption of battery electric vehicles are going to grow substantially over the years. And I think that a lot of governments, they're probably going to they may mandate for many countries that they're going to have to go to a green electric vehicle type world and that new cars are going to have to be <clears throat> emissions free. So uh, battery electric vehicles, I think, are going to play a big role in a lot of the first world countries. So Nova Royalty, uh, Nova makes money as a, uh, on a percentage of production. For example, a 2% net smelter return. They are focused on nickel and copper. They're going after massive deposits from major mining companies. That's what they're focusing on. And I think that's very smart. If you wanna grow a very large royalty companies, you're gonna to have to have them on the major mining companies. They're looking at long life mines. And a lot of these are in, pro uh, they're in projects right now uh, that are about to be developed and, and then mined. They are the first type of copper nickel only royalty company. And it's a diversified streams of income to reduce risk, which is inherent in royalty type companies, which I really like. And you don't have any risk from higher input costs that a mining company may uh, encounter. So I'm going to go into their presentation here. I've got it pulled up. This is a fundamental investment in the energy transition. This is Nova Royalty here. 
Their ticker symbol is NOVRF uh, for people in America. I'm going to come on down. <clears throat> this is some of the uh, focused on the first essential step in the energy transition, the great copper and nickel mines that will power the world. So really, it's a foundational portfolio of royalties on multiple world-class copper and nickel assets being advanced by major operators. So we got the Taka Taka, Nouveau Union, the Dumont, Twin Metals, I can't pronounce that, Vigit Chitas. Uh, and then we've got a founding team with proven track record of success ready to scale the business. This is the Metalla Royalty team. Uh, there's some people on, on, the, on the management team here from Metalla Royalty. So these are some of the net smelter returns here. You can see what these are. I, won't need, I don't need to go over all of them, but you can read through it on their website. This is their presentation. Alex is the founding CEO of Nova. They got Bill Sang, the CFO of Metalla Royalty Streaming. They got some Brett Heath, <clears throat> founder, president, and CEO of Metalla Royalty on the board. We've got E.B. Tucker. There's a bunch of people from, from Metalla here. So this is looking pretty pretty strong uh, management team. We've got the capital structure and whatnot, liquidity. The decarbonization movement is powered by copper, and I agree with that. Uh, renewable energy assets require up to 15 times as much copper as a conventional power per unit of installed capacity. So being in copper, I think, is a good spot to be. Electric vehicles require up to 10 times more copper versus internal combustion engine vehicles. So lots of copper. This is the copper supply demand, upper, mid, lower, uh, annual incremental copper demand required to achieve zero carbon scenarios. Way more copper. We need way more copper. Required annual uh, copper supply growth rate. So these are the growth rates coming up. So we've got a large growth coming up in 2030 for all these things. Going down to nickel's role in battery technology, nickel's going to play a huge role here. So battery is... Nickel's the battery metal, so to speak. Uh, transition to electric vehicles is driven by nickel. This is the current global nickel supply. <laughs> it's just absolutely ramping up. Uh, EVs as a percentage of total vehicle sales. They're looking at 58% by 2040. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. There's the quote. Nova is the only royalty company focused on copper and nickel. Uh, so I think this is a cool one to be in. Royalty sector trading multiples, senior royalty 30x, junior royalty. And you can see as you go from a small royalty company to a large royalty company, uh, you can get a lot of uh, multiples of expansion uh, for your valuation as you grow. This is the portfolio. I don't need to go over all those, uh, but they do have a, a wide array, diversified stream of royalties from very large uh, mines, and they're working on growing this portfolio uh, larger and larger where the acquisitions make sense. And and we'll, we'll scroll down here, the appendix. Yeah, not much else, but that's, if you guys wanna see their, uh, their presentation, obviously go to their website, uh, but I like Nova Royalty quite a bit. Uh, I think them being kind of first, uh, you could almost look at them as a junior company that could potentially be something like a Franco Nevada, but in copper and nickel. Hopefully it gets that big. Hopefully it, it can progress uh, over time and, and, and get to that size. Uh, but remember, they're going to have to focus on big projects uh, and, and, and get, get some royalties coming from these big mines. And that's what they're doing. So I think their strategies, you know, spot on. Uh, they developed Metalla Royalty, a lot of these, these guys. So they know what they're doing. They got the management team to do it. Now it's just execution. And they know what to do. It's, it, it, it's a process. So uh, I like Nova Royalty quite a bit. Uh, if you guys, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a royalty company that has copper and nickel, uh, I think this is a company that you need to look into to do some further research. Uh, I'm just going to their presentation on their website. That's what I look at. Go take a look. It looks pretty good to me. And I'm, a, I'm an investor of, of Nova Royalty. I have a, a good stake in it. So if you guys like this content, you know, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys listening. Uh, this is Finding Value.